welcome to my youtube channel so in the last video we looked at how we can create the uh, virtual environment how we can activate it and now in this particular video we will make use of that virtual environment to create uh, to basically first of all train the machine learning model and then use that machine learning model for deployment in a web application so first of all i will uh, i am i am in my location where i have the where I, where i have the project files so i will first of all activate my uh, the virtual environment that i have created so to activate it you just say conda activate and then name of the environment so it was titanic underscore env so once this is activated you will you will be able to see that it is your titanic underscore env and then you can launch your jupyter notebook from here so it has been launched over here and you can see that i have already created this titanic underscore predictions dot python file the so now in this particular file i have already created the model the the basic classification model using random forest and i will not write the code just to make sure that it, this video is not going so long so i have already created this particular python file and i'll just uh, quickly walk you through this file so that i can explain you each and every step so here first of all we have uh, imported pandas library then we have imported the the train data the train data that i have downloaded from uh, kaggle website so these are the uh, like these are the various columns that are available we have passenger id we have the survived column and this is my target column whether the person survived or not then we have the passenger class in which class the passenger was traveling the name of the passenger the gender the age sibling is spouse so the sum of siblings and the spouse so what is the sum of these two numbers parents and children so how many parents and how many children so this is a so that basically means for this particular person uh, he was not having any par he was not having any children and uh, this particular person was having either one sibling or one spouse so that's why it is one then the name number of the ticket which is basically the unique number given to each ticket the fare cabin number which is missing and embarked embarked basically means at which port this person uh, boarded the ship so this is embarked s s stands for basically s s is a s is a short or uh, it is basically a code that is given to one particular port now uh, what we have done we have checked the percentage basically the count of missing values and we have three columns that have some missing values so we have age then we have cabin and then we have embarked now cabin has 687 values that are missing and uh, this is quite a good number because uh, the total number of rows that are present for this file is around 800 so 687 it's quite a good number that is missing so what i have done i have dropped this cabin column I have dropped this passenger ID column. I have dropped this name column because this is not going to help me in any case in this prediction. I have dropped the ticket number because again this is a unique code that is given to each person. So I have dropped this and these all columns are, are dropped from my data. Now I am left with this data. Now in this particular data I have 100, 177 uh, missing rows for age and embarked has two missing value. So for age, what I have done, I have first of all for embarked, what I have done, I have used the uh, the mode mode method. Basically, first of all, I have checked the value count for each uh, various categories, and then I have imputed the missing values for embarked column with the category that is available for highest number of time, which is category S. And then uh, what I have done, I have also converted this six column. Uh, into a into a basically a binary column which is mm, female has been replaced with zero male has been replaced with one similarly i have replaced scq with zero one and two and now uh, to take to take care of the missing values in h column i have used the median approach to to impute this particular h column since we are looking at a particular demonstration we are not uh, looking for a very good accurate model i have just used the median approach but you can use some good approach like iterative imputer and knn imputation uh, now we have a clean data set and then uh, like 
also you can see all the data is converted to numbers so all the data is numerical format I will not be required to create dummy variables because I am going to work with random forest and random forest it doesn't require you to create dummy variables so I have divided my data into a train and test basically x and y then train and test then I have worked on the random forest model with some parameters so class weight is balanced criteria is guinea uh, min sample leaf is one min sample split is 16 and number of trees in that particular uh, forest is 700 now once I have run these this model uh, the 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 model accuracy on the test data set so I am checking my model accuracy on test data set was found to be 84 percent that is good and the recall on the test data set was found to be 78 percent that is again good now this is my training data set now what I have done, I have basically, uh, so this was the model, the RF underscore model was my model that I have created and now what I have done, I am, I am trying this model to predict, to predict some, uh, to predict this particular case. So here what I have done, I have mentioned the values in the order of my training data. So first of all, I have mentioned the passenger class. So passenger class is class number one, then I, then I have mentioned the six. So sex is a female, zero means female. Then I have mentioned the age. So age is 40 years. Then I have mentioned the siblings and spouses. So that is number one or only one. Uh, then I have mentioned parent and children. That is zero. Then I have mentioned the fare. That is $93.5. And that last I have mentioned the, uh, the port at which the person boarded. So port is one. And then if you run this model, you will get a output in a form of an array so if you wanted to extract the the, uh, the basically the class from the array I am using this indexing and one basically means the person survived the if, if, if it was zero that basically means person did, didn't survived so this is how I can use my model now what I am doing I am using this pickle package to save my model so the model that I have created over here I am trying to save it in my memory so that I can use it while I am running or while I am creating my web application. So I am, uh, first of all I am creating this file which is a pickle file and wb means in a write mode where I can write this file and then I am dumping this model into this file which I have created over here. So now uh, once you run this code and you go back to your, uh, to your uh, 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 basically the folder you will find that this pickle file has been created. Now this pickle file will hold your model and you can use this pickle file to basically run your, uh, to basically make predictions when you, once you are trying to deploy your model. Now once you have the model, you are required to create the web page through which you can take the input from the users and you are also required to create the uh, Python uh, script where you can basically write all the logic. So I have already explained this. So um, let me explain you uh, how you can create the web page and the Python application in the next video.